are in the middle of one of the STS Med uh, demo plants. This is the plant in Palermo. It's a large field that has been installed inside the University of Palermo campus in an area that the university has uh, given for, uh, for the project. This is uh, uh, the end of uh, a long project uh, uh, that uh, lasted for four years, where we have analyzed the behavior of uh, uh, high insulated uh, regions in the Mediterranean uh, area. We have 14 partners, uh, all distributed in the solar belt uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. These are demonstrative plants that want to show that we can use the solar energy with polygenerative uh, approach to give services to buildings, to settlements, uh, to communities. This is the largest plant of the four. The other three are in Egypt, in Sekem, close to a hospital. Another one is on one roof in Irbid, in Jordan. And the third is on a roof of a school close to the premises of the Cyprus Institute in Nicosia, in Cyprus. We have uh, um, designed plants uh, with the right mix of technologies to link uh, solar collectors uh, with high performance with a uh, system that can uh, generate the different services uh, to be provided to the buildings. I was in charge in design, in the installations and the commissioning of the system that is installed here inside the campus of the University of Palermo. This is the first time that in Sicily we create a solar laboratory available for all the researchers of the university and for the technicians that want to understand the use of the solar system. We have installed here three linear Fresnel collectors, uh, mirrors uh, able to heat uh, an oil, uh, an, uh, the thermic oil, uh, inside the absorber tubes. We heat uh, the oil till about 250 degrees and we store all this energy inside uh, a thermal storage. We designed uh, the first uh, thermocline uh, uh, molten salt uh, uh, thermal storage of about uh, 400 uh, thermal kilowatt hour, able to give this energy to an ORC, an equipment uh, that uh, we use uh, to produce uh, electricity, and uh, a chiller. This kind of systems uh, is a polygenerative system, and it's very important for the community, for the scientific community and for technical community to understand how these systems uh, can be uh, replaced uh, in uh, all uh, Euro-Mediterranean uh, countries. The system that we have installed in Cyprus uh, was commissioned in 2015 to 2016, it took about a year, and now it's ready and it's uh, providing uh, cool air to the adjacent building and also providing heat in, in, the, in the summer. And the reason we, we have done that is because uh, Cyprus, being a European country in the Middle East, uh, has peculiar needs uh, for energy, uh, especially in the summer. Concentrated solar power is an alternative to the uh, well-established photovoltaics that we have all around the southern Mediterranean and all across Europe and the world, uh, and also an alternative to the wind power that we also have in, 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 in the island at the moment. Scientifically, the project is very interesting. We, uh, we have finished commissioning it and we expect to do a lot more experiments with it in the next two, three, five, ten years. So there is uh, certainly an element uh, of sustainability for the project and for the system itself. Uh, and we think that um, this is uh, the first, let's say, uh, spring step for the developments to come. A camera permits us to have a real-time view on the field of Cyprus. And now we can see the Fresnel collector installed on the public roof. And uh, it's now working and tracking uh, the sun for the production of solar air conditioning. The platform aims to produce air conditioning for a near to zero energy building in Cyprus, which belongs to the Cyprus Institute. It is called the Novel Technologies Laboratory. This uh, solar platform will reduce dramatically the energy consumption for air conditioning of this near to zero energy building. In Cyprus, many roofs, like the one we see on the, video, on the camera, are located uh, in, the, in the city. They are flat and the orientation, orientation is optimal for uh, the settlement of a Fresnel collector. I am now at the rooftop of Al-Khawarizmi building. 
at Al Hosun University College. The CSP plant behind me is a major deliverable of STS MID project. The specific objectives of the project are to facilitate the adoption of CS small scale integrated systems in the Mediterranean basin and to create new opportunities for the commercial and industrial sectors by improving technical skills of professionals and enabling SMEs to set up a full supply chain in the solar energy sector. The plant generates electric power, cooling, heating, hot water, and distilled water from a single source of energy, which is solar energy. Solar energy is collected and concentrated in parabolic trough collectors. The concentrated solar radiation heats the heat transfer fluid, which is thermal oil, to a temperature of 240 degrees Celsius. The heated oil is stored in a brick tank to provide a stabilized operation for the heat consuming equipment. ASRT is the Academy of Scientific Research and Technology in Egypt. All the plants share the idea to be multi-generation plants. That means generating electricity, desalination, water heating and cooling to fit the requirements of the buildings. Especially, these plants are connected via a central uh, control system in which all the partners can view and monitor the performance of other plants in other countries. For example, it is installed in uh, uh, a green village. This green village, it is owned by uh, uh, Seekem, which is uh, uh, a green village in which all things there are bio and green. And by, integrated, uh, by integrating this plant inside, we give a good example of the uh, the integration of uh, this technology, solar energy technology, which is green technology, with other green technologies in the agriculture, in the education, and everything there. The project activities and uh, the partnerships and the cooperations among the partners involved in this project will, need, will not end by the, 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 the end of term of this project. It is not uh, only for plants, it is for schools, it's for research schools, it's for teaching schools installed in four different countries and uh, by itself it is sustainable. Uh, for example in Egypt we have got the, the training of uh, simple technicians uh, for the first time they install such plants. We have got experience now, we have local supply chains, local manufacturers who were interested and we were involved in the uh, installation of such a plant. Thank you for ARCA, thank you for MB, thank you for ASRT, thank you for all the partners from Jordan, Italy, Cyprus for their efforts in this project. Thank you.